made it to the lake this morning, boys and girls. There is not one car at the boat ramp. We were here pretty early. The sun is just coming up. It's a beautiful day. It feels amazing out right now. I believe it's like low 60s, maybe like 63 degrees. This is the first step today. We gotta get this cover off. Finally on the boat. Yes, we're on the boat ramp. It's time to get off of here and go catch the fish. go such a soft bite it has been like three or four hours three hours maybe then we're creeping up on three hours first bite of the day not even like first fish it's literally first bite of the day beautiful hogichi chunky bass pretty colors on him that's a nice little fish start off today welcome back to another video today we're out on the hogichi river searching for some big bass just got our first fish of the day. You know what I always say, it doesn't matter about the size of the first one, it just gets us started. So pretty little guy, that bite was so soft. This morning, it's actually about to start raining here soon. Hold up. Projected to rain in the next like 20 minutes. So I'm hoping it doesn't, but right now it's been high tide all morning. This is the toughest tide in my opinion for me to catch fish. So once this tide drops, water gets lower, I think it's gonna get a lot better. It's also super windy today. We're kind of tucked in this little tiny canal right now. We're gonna keep on fishing along this bank so there could be some more fish stacked up and see if we can catch us a good one. If you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, I got a Texas rig right now. It's a basic black and red rage curl. Have it on a 3 out EWG hook with a 1 8 ounce lead weight. I usually like to throw a quarter, which is 1 4th but this is all i got for right now so it's getting the job done had that first bite right there on that bank so what i'm going to do is i'm going to backtrack and fish really good right here because there could be some more fish stacked up one thing to think about is when you find one fish there's usually multiple so we're going to work this thing real good along this bank hopefully we'll start getting on some good fish
There we go. Look at that right there. That's a beautiful Ogeechee bass. Caught him in this tiny little slough back here. These little things you need to pick up on. It's high tide, these fish push up way up in there. I had to work that thing so slow. We got a solid fish to eat it. Beautiful markings on this bass. It's almost weird little spots on his fins too. It's crazy. A pretty fish, that is a good one. Shortly after our first fish, let's go. Fish in this little tiny slough. I've actually never caught one in this before. It looks very juicy. It looks like a good place for a bass to tuck up. And I've never caught a fish out of here. That was my first one ever. So that's very exciting. And I know there has to be more than one. So I'm just really working this flute good in here. I was working it the first time very slow. Even the first fish we had right before this one, very soft bite. Fishing's very slow right now, and um, I'm just waiting for this water to come out because right now it's this high tide's really killing me. It can be difficult sometimes to catch these fish, and I want to get on some good big ones. I mean, that last fish right there was a good fish, but I want to get on some four and five pounders if I can. nice i almost wasn't even gonna work that cast back in i got stuck on one of those little things hanging from the bank another one on the crawl that's three fish quick man we've been hunting for hours today got us another pretty little bass nothing big but hey he's fun to catch that's <laughs> so cool these fish man I, I swear they act weird sometimes and you just gotta hunt around i mean we went up river this morning we, we went all the way down i fished a few spots nothing Came to one of my old reliable spots and and boom you know we're catching them so heck i cannot complain at all we're getting bites steady too so we're gonna stay here for a good bit until that tide starts to drop and then we'll go up river but um right now i don't really see a reason for us to move you know it's just panning out you know we've caught three fish in probably i'd say 25 minutes max so maybe there'll be some more stacked up back here Dang goodbye. What's up, my crawl? back all the way out of this spot. We got a pretty far way to go, I'm not gonna lie. It bends up there, that's not the... Oh, it's a decent one. Let's go. Sorry about the wind, guys. It is brutal today, but just got our fourth fish right after that other bite. Makes sense. We're gonna fish this real good. It might be a timing thing. It might start biting. It's a beautiful little fish right there. So what I did is I actually have a different crawl on now. This is a green pumpkin. I have it on a straight shank hook because I ran out of VWGs and I ran out of bullet weight, so I had to put this big one on, but it actually helps in this current. So. Like I said, I apologize for the wind. Let's let's keep fishing. 
I know there's some more here. I got him. Oh, it's a good one, too. That'll jerk the rod out of my hand. This is a good one. Oh, he's fighting so well. I haven't really got a... Oh, not bad. I thought he was a lot bigger than that. But, hey, we're catching him. Gosh, about jerked the rod out of my hand. I thought I wasn't going to catch that. I was about to say I missed two fish in this spot. I beamed it way back there in this little tiny canal. Pretty fish. I think this heavy weight's actually helping out too. There might be some more in there. That could have been a separate fish that bit me, but I doubt it. I mean, my whole rod was going. <laughs> it just yanked on my rod right there. Let's throw it back in there. Oh, that was just... That was honestly ridiculous. That's the type of stuff that just makes me not want to fish. I threw perfectly in between this little crack. That's annoying. <laughs> no way. Okay. Just pulled my boat up there, but I guess I didn't spook this one off. Little tiny dude, but heck, he's a fish. <laughs> little tiny snappy guy. Had to have been a mudfish. Had to have been a mudfish. That wasn't a bass, I don't think. Dude, that's insane. I never saw that fish eat it. It just hit the water, it was already running. Had to have been a mudfish. I mean, it's a clean, crisp cut. Man. I don't have any more EWGs, but hopefully that won't be a problem with this fluke. It's a good sign to get a bite, even though I think it was a mudfish. If it wasn't, it was a big, big bass, I don't know. Pretty positive that's some mud though for it to cut it that clean. Oh, that's him. Yep. Oh, he's not as big as I thought. It's a dang good one though. One of the best today. Can't complain, eh? Decent little fish right there. What does he have? Oh, that's my fluke tail hanging out of his mouth. Spooked me. There we go. I think we're getting to one of the good spots back here, but pretty fish. That's fish wide number, number seven. We're finishing off in this big fish hole. I'm just praying that that's, oh, there's gonna be a big one. I think it's about to heat up here in a second. We're gonna catch one in the next five minutes. Thank you.